Hey guys, in today's video, I wanna talk about character design. I wanna show you three awesome tips, very quick tips on how to make your character design better, even if you start from a reference picture. And so a few days ago, I started to make a, a study of a reference picture and I wanted to make it not exactly like the reference picture, but stylize it a little bit. Uh, and so I switch uh, a few things around and exaggerate and play with the shapes. And basically today I wanna to talk about this process. I wanna talk about the three things that I basically concentrated on while doing this study. The first thing that I started to concentrate it on was the shape. Now, if you want to paint something that looks in proportion to the subject that you're painting, the number one thing you have to look for are the proportions of the subject. And the easiest way for you to be able to understand how to place those proportions is by creating basically simplified shape with the figure or subject that you're painting. In this case, I was able to uh, cut down uh, the head, the torso, the hips of the character into more stylized shape that would still stay in proportion, but giving this way a little bit more form and design to the actual silhouette of the model. The second thing that I wanted to work on was to exaggerate those shapes. So the model itself, when I took, uh, when I when I was looking at the picture reference, was a little bit too straight, and I wanted to make sure that the gesture or movement uh, of the character would be just a little bit more uh, on the wavy side. So I make sure to exaggerate uh, the movement of them by just placing the shapes a little bit differently. And the third thing that I've been doing on this illustration, uh, the tip that I wanna give you is to uh, simplify the facial features. Now, having some simplification into the eyes, nose, lips, make them a little bit cuter by playing with also the size of them will really help. But the one thing you need to, to be sure when you're doing this is to keep the proportions. Now, if you wanna make the eyes bigger and the nose smaller, that's all good, but they should still be closer to uh, the, the, the proportions and the placement on a portrait to look real. The reason why you see uh, so many great stylization like these names, for example, that create amazing characters but still look like humanoid is because they are able to play with those fe facial features with the simplification that they want, but while still keeping the humanoid proportion. If you want to take a minute to now subscribe, that would be awesome. It really helps this channel to grow faster and this way I'll be able to create more of those free videos like this one. One super important thing to remember is that these decisions for the design needs to be done at the sketch, not when you're gonna start rendering and adding colors and lighting and details. You really want to make sure that your character design uh, is done at the sketch format. This way you'll know exactly where you're going. It's much easier to do the correction on your sketch than on the final illustration. And that's it for this video. Uh, the rest of it really, once the design was done, was just to finish the coloring, the lighting, adding uh, touches of uh, details here and there. Uh, and it was a quick study for me and it was a lot of fun. I was able to actually uh, practice those things which we all need to do at some point in time. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. If you want more of those videos, you can let me know uh, by subscribing. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Happy painting.